Hey everybody, the Network Berg. Hope you've been doing well. In today's video, we'll be going over HA on a FortiGate device, or more specifically a cluster. Uh, what is HA? HA is uh, short for high availability. It is something that we can use between devices uh, to create redundancy, let's say, on a hardware level. So you'll see this a lot with different uh, firewall vendors as well. They might call it clustering as well. Um, specifically like with junipers but on the 40 gates we call it HA and it's quite simple to set up and the whole purpose of it is if your primary firewall should go down or if it dies for whatever reason that um, the secondary firewall or the HA firewall will just take over the load and the traffic and you won't experience any downtime so that's quite useful specifically for large enterprises and ISPs because you can't afford the downtime, right? So let's jump into setting up HA quickly. I haven't done a topology here yet, uh, but we'll just create one quickly. So let's just call a project on GNS340 get HA. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in a couple of 40 gate devices. This is running version 6.0.0. <coughs> let's quickly start these devices. I also just want to bring in a switch so that we can connect both firewalls to the switches. Let's call that F1 for firewall one and F2 for firewall two. And I'll bring my computer in in a little bit as well. Let's just start the switch up as well. Busy starting up. Okay, just wanna bring that in line. That looks a little bit better. Okay, so let's quickly connect our firewalls. I'm going to connect port one on each firewall onto the switch. And then I'm going to connect both firewalls on a specific port. So I'm gonna say port 10 in this example. Why do we connect the firewalls together? Uh, well, <laughs> you do need these devices to be able to see each other on a hardware level because the HA, the protocol won't use IP addresses to establish the connectivity. It's all happening on layer two. So it's best to have these devices connected directly to each other. Uh, you'll see this a lot with other uh, vendors as well, maybe like with Cisco with their VSS on their switches, very similar. You'll take a port, just connect it directly to the other uh, device and you'll run it. A very important thing to take note of when you do wanna do HA, yes, you need a port to go directly to each firewall, but you will most likely also need to make sure that these are the right models. You can't mix match models. So please don't try and connect a 1000D with a 600E. You're gonna have issues. Also try and also make sure that the firewalls do both run the same firmware version when you do the HA. But from my experience, the master will just inject its own firmware into the secondary device. But it's also just best practice to do that in case something goes wrong. Okay, so our firewall should be started up. I'm just quickly going to jump into the command line for both of them. I do primarily set up the HA through the command line, but you can do it through the GUI as well. Let's just see. Come on, firewall 2, start up. There we go. So these are fresh firewalls. You saw me put them in. They have zero config on them, bearing um, the default that you would get when you set up a device. So the first thing that I just want to do is on each firewall, I want to set up the HA. So on firewall one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the configuration mode, but well, it's not Cisco, right? We're just going to go into the config. We're going to go into the system configuration and we're going to be configuring HA. So what do we want to configure on the HA? Uh, there's a few primary uh, details you need to put in. You need to specify something like a group ID. This tells the firewall in which cluster it belongs if you do have multiple clusters. Uh, you also need to use something like a group name. You need to specify your mode. So let's say it, that could be, is your firewalls running active active or active passive? Active active would be more of a load balancing technique. So the traffic filters through both of your firewalls. Um, but the recommended state for failover would be just active-passive. Um, reason being, we don't want 
multiple IPs with different MAC addresses causing maybe a little bit of issues on your network as well. So just something to take note of as well. And then we also just need to specify a password and which port we're using for the HA. And in our case, that is going to be port 10, which we connected. Okay, so let's get started. Let's quickly just, in the HA configuration, you can see we went in the config HA and there it says we're in the HA configuration. So let's just set our group and our ID. We can make this whatever we want. I'm going to make this 10. We need to set our group name. So this we can just make HA dash cust one. We need to set ourselves the mode. So the mode we want to make it, we could tab it. It'll tell you standalone is just one firewall, but that would be quite strange for HA, right? AA, it's active active or active passive. So that's the mode that we want. We're going to now just set a password as well. So for quickness sake, we're just going to make this one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we need to set our mo or our port, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's just monitor port 10. So annoying if you tab on the 40 gate, because if you backslash it, it just goes, takes everything out. And we need to set a priority as well. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. So the priority, it's very similar to VRP. It is actually, you can think of that as a VRP priority. Uh, the higher priority is the better one. And also it, it goes to like 250 or 255 or something. So we're gonna make the primary 40 gate 200. And we can also just set a heart bleed port and that I'm going to make port 10 as well. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, so I just ended the configuration there. If we go into the system HA again and we type show, it will show us all of the configuration that we just added. So that is on firewall one. We're going to do the similar thing on firewall two now. Config system HA, set group ID. We made that 10, set group name. We made that uh, HA-cust1. We set our mode to active passive. We set our password to one, two, three, four, five, six. We set our monitor to port 10. We set our priority. We will set this one lower. Let's make this 50. And let's just set our Heartbleed as well. HB dev for 10 there. And that should be it. We can end the configuration. So what I'd like to do is just see if the HA is up and running. So we can say get system. Actually, I think we need to say debug system. Diagnose system HA status. All right, it's already picked up. It's already picked up. So this 48 went to a slave as well. And here we can see our priorities. So there's the serial numbers of the 40 gates, the one that's the master, which will be firewall one. And then the serial number of the slave 40 gate, which is the one we're currently on. So we've actually set up the HA now. Diagnose HA. Diagnose sys HA status. Yes. Okay, <laughs> the HA has been configured. That is literally it to get HA up and running. We can quickly test it to see if it is working by adding some configuration on firewall one, just see that it replicates to firewall two, and maybe connect my computer and see what happens if we shut down firewall one. So in my 
example I'm just going to configure a port config um, system interface we're going to edit port 1 that was the port that went to the switch we're just going to assign this port an IP uh, set IP 192.168.99.1 slash 24 Okay, set mode static. Okay, that should fix that. So now we've got an IP address of 192.168.99.1 on our firewall on port 1. That should be it. Okay, so what I want to do is just go into firewall 2 and see if the configuration replicated. Config system con big system interface show there we go port one has taken the same configuration remember that was blank and it was set to dynamic it's now static and it's got the same IP address which is wonderful so we know our configuration is replicating across between the two firewalls so what I'd like to do now is just bring my computer into the mix and we're just going to connect with this computer directly into that switch. Um, this is running on some VM stuff. Okay, there we go. Bring that into the switch. So that's my actual computer on a virtual interface. I'm coming into the network as well. I've already given my computer the 192.168.99.2 uh, IP address. So let's just quickly see if I can ping 192.168.99.1. I can ping 192.168.99.1, which is firewall one. So what we're going to do now is we are going to turn off firewall one and see how quickly we get to firewall two. So let's just right click here, stop this. Let's quickly see how long this process of HA takes. And it's back up so it's almost instantaneous I mean it is gonna take you're gonna lose a packet or a couple of packets at least but it's really nice to have in an ISP environment where you can't afford downtime or big enterprises obviously uh, that wraps up the video if you enjoyed watching this and you learned something new please feel free to subscribe to the channel maybe share it with your friends it does help grow this channel, and I do appreciate that a lot. I'll also be posting a link to the blog with a similar article on how to set up uh, HA in a Word format if you prefer to read the stuff as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.